If you want to live stream on Instagram using a third party like BeLive or Restream, Logitech or OBS, we now finally have the ability to do that with a brand new feature that just launched on Instagram. Head over to Instagram.com and you are going to go down to the create button. From here, you're going to see posts and you're going to see live video. Once you pull that up, you're going to have to add a title. Now your title will be displayed to your audience, so be smart about how you're doing this. This is going to need to have a hook. It's going to need to get people's attention and stop the scroll. So be intentional about how you do that. And if you want help on how to get your live streams to a place where people will stop and stay and engage and potentially to buy into whatever you're doing, we've got lots of videos and tutorials on how to do that. I will link playlists down below for you. You're going to add in a title for this. I'm just going to use test because we're not going to go for the full process. And then you are going to select your audience. Now, public audience is going to be to everybody who follows you on Instagram and a practice audience means no one will see you. You will just be able to hit the buttons and double check things and see how it's going. So you can pick either of those. We have tutorials on how to use practice mode in your business. So I will link that for you as well. And when you're done, you're going to click the next button. Now from here, you have access to your stream key. This is going to be something that allows your third party to send your stream to your Instagram page. This is not to be shared with other people. Don't give them these links. They are going to need all of this information to go live on your platform. So if you give it to them, you could potentially be risking a lot. Don't give this to them. So you want to make sure that you are copying each of these and you're going to take it over to your third party app. Now it is important to keep in mind, you have up to five hours to go live once you start to preview your broadcast. So then once you have it previewed, you can click that go button and then you will be streaming up to five hours after you are testing it. So you're going to copy that and you're going to head over to your third party app. Now you are going to, on some of these, be able to switch it from horizontal to a vertical mode. You can have, again, multiple people on the screen. You can have guests, you can have screen sharing, you can do your media, your live sales, you can have custom branding, meaning you can put overlays and you can do like moving things on your screen if you would like. You can really dress this up to go with your branding for your business however you want. You also have the ability to put words on screen and you can pull in user comments. You can also go live to multiple destinations depending on the third party that you're using. So you're going to go to edit destination. You're going to pop in your server URL and your stream key. You can schedule it from here. And if you want multiple destinations, you can also add in destinations to go live on your TikTok if you have your stream key or your Amazon live, your YouTube live, your Facebook, all of those different things. You can do multiple destinations depending on the third party that you are going to be using. Now, when you're ready, you are going to go ahead and you are going to, let me, there we go. You are going to go ahead and you're going to click the save button. And at that point, when you're ready to go and everything is set up just the way you want, and again, you can't toggle between horizontal and vertical. So pick your vertical first and get your things set up. You're then going to be able to click that start button. Now it will start here inside of your third party first. And when it's ready, you are going to be able to then see that preview in your Instagram and you're going to be able to go live from there so that it sends it out to your, to your Instagram page. Now I do recommend that you have your phone and you have a secondary account so that you can go and check on that live stream. You are unable to go into your own live stream from your own account. So have a backup account just to check on your account, get on your phone and check that you're able to then follow along with comments. If you need to, you can make sure that you are streaming and that everything is good. Turn your volume down before you do that because you don't want it to echo and you'll be able to stream on your Instagram page from there. This is a brand new feature, so it's likely to be a little bit glitchy. So if you're experiencing some glitches, go ahead and let us know. I'll help you troubleshoot as best as I can. But this is something that is, again, brand new and not everybody may have access to this yet. So just keep watching. You do have to have a professional account. So this is not a personal account. It is a professional account to do this. So if you are unable to access it, make sure you are on the right version of Instagram so that it's not a personal account, especially if you're doing this for your business, you should have one of those business settings as well. And this is going to allow you to stream from your desktop through using a third party app so that you can do all the extra fancy things on your Instagram live. Now we have tons of tutorials with live stream action plan in our playlist down below. Make sure you're checking those out. We have access to a lot of these softwares, these third parties to help you stream. So if I have bonuses or extras, I will attach those to our tutorials on how to use each of these. If there's one I should be checking out, do go ahead and let me know. I work with a lot of these companies and I work with a lot of the social media apps directly. So questions, comments, drop those down below. We'll see what we can do for you in terms of tutorials. And we'll see you in the upcoming episodes as we continue to help you make this your most profitable year in business ever with the least amount of stress. We'll see you there.